Hey everyone, welcome to Sokka's Tech Spot. I built a computer a while back using some old parts and some new, so I thought I would show you how it was made. Here's a few shots of it when it's complete, including some upgrades that were done a while after the build. You can find a list of the full specs in the description, as well as a link to some other videos in the bio, including this CPU heatsink, the Cooler Master T4. The case I chose was a Thermal Take Core V21, mostly because I had an MATX motherboard and wanted a compact case. This case is very modular. All the sides fit the same way and are the same size, so you can have this thing customized in several orientations. You can have the motherboard hanging upside down if you really wanted to. Nothing much going on with the box, so let's just get right into it. The only thing in the box is the case. It has these cool magnetic dust screens on every side, which make them easy to clean. On the bottom, it has a panel with four legs and another dust screen where the power supply sits. You get one window panel, and others are sold separately if you wanted more window panels or whatever. On the back, there is room for a 120 or 140 millimeter fan, room for your expansion cards, power supply, and I/O ports. On the front, there is a magnetic logo which you can rotate depending on which orientation you decide to put it in. Here, you find the power and reset switches, two USB 3.0 ports, and the audio ports. Opening it up, we get the documentation, some hardware for the case, and some zip ties. I decided to take all the panels off, and on one side we see three trays for 2.5 inch drives. As you can see, taking off the bottom is just as easy. Here's my old rig that has a dead motherboard. What we're going to get out of this is the processor. It's an Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600 at 2.4GHz. A dated processor, but still packs a lot of power. This rig will be running Linux, so it should be plenty. I'll be upgrading the fan to the Cooler Master T4 as well. The unboxing is on my channel and a link in the description. I cleaned off the processor with rubbing alcohol, and we're done. I sized up the new motherboard for the case to make sure it sits right. After confirmation, I installed the IO port plate. Hashtag never forget. The new, old, motherboard is an ASUS P5 G41T MLX Plus, a dated board but good enough for our needs, although it doesn't have USB 3.0. After securely screwing it in, I installed the RAM. The RAM is a joke, 2GB of no-name DDR3 modules at 533MHz. The processor only supported a handful of RAM, so I had to make do with what I already had. The video card that I originally put in was the NVIDIA GeForce 8400GS, but I later upgraded to a Radeon HD5770 after upgrading my main rig to the R9-290X. Next up is the power supply. I went with an affordable EVGA 500W that was about $40. The link's in the description for the full specs and link to the parts. The case also provided additional support brackets for the power supply, so I got those in as well. I tightened it up one last time, and it was good to go. For storage, I went with a 120GB SSD from Silicon Power. It was a really inexpensive SSD, and any SSD is better than a mechanical drive. I did add a Western Digital Caviar Black 500GB hard drive as well for some extra storage. One of the last things left are the front panel switches and ports minus the USB 3.0 ports which I actually used a converter for and converted them to USB 2.0. Next up is the motherboard power, we'll be needing the 24 pin configuration. The CPU power only requires 4 pins. Here I am wiring up the rest of it, and it's time to test. So powering on is always scary the first time. Here we go. We got the motherboard splash screen, and it made it to post. At the time, there was no operating system, so it's not gonna boot up or anything, but here it is in its final state with the operating system and some added UV lights. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to follow me on my social media, Twitter at Sakos Tech Spot, and Instagram at Sako Nexus. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.